Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Astrology Today in Tarot. My name is Mel Rose, and I'm here to share some astrology with you as it relates to Tarot. So um, today is Thursday, March 30, 2023. Sun is in Aries. Moon is in Cancer, moving on to Leo tonight. And I want to start with the card that sits on the side of the page here. This is the card that represents or corresponds in astrology to the first 10 days or the first decan of the Sun's transit here in the land of Aries. So this is the two of wands. Aries is a fire sign. Wands are fire element symbolism in Tarot. And fire element symbolism is about spark, drive, initiative, taking action, having the gumption to go, right? Uh, it can be about fuel and it can be about fire. Um, but it's also often just about um, unlocking achievements or overcoming challenges, right? So, uh, you know, there's der determination here, there's enthusiasm, there's excitement, there's restlessness, <laughs> right? And there's just this sort of spirit of conquest uh, that comes with the fire element. And the two of wands um, is the very beginning of that story. So all those words I just used very much uh, describe sort of the, the heart of this person that you see uh, standing between the two wands with the with the whole world in his hands, <laughs> right? Uh, just sort of looking out over the waters and and looking at the material of the world and thinking about what he already knows and 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 thinking about what he's going to do next. Right. This is a time for discovery. It's a time for, you know, searching what we want to what we want to do. It's a time for uh, searching what information we can find out about what it is that we want to do. Right. And and sort of gathering the materials and and uh, and deciding whether or not we can accomplish what it is that we're setting out to do or deciding exactly how we're going to accomplish. So there's a lot of planning involved. There's a lot of looking ahead. Um, and that's based on what I have in front of me, what I have at my command at this time, right? So that's the two of wands. And I have shuffled these a couple of times, but I'll go ahead and shuffle them a couple of times for you to see. I've got some interesting stuff on the page today. Good friends, good, powerful times. I hope you've been feeling the transition and the fire. Speaking of fire, we got the Spear Maiden. Okay, so this is from my from my Arthur Arthurian Tarot deck, and um, it's all it's all about the the Arthurian age and the Arthurian legend of you know King Arthur, Knights of the Round Table, Guinevere, Morgan, all those people. And here we have the Spear Maiden. And so these are kind of broken up into like four different basic tribes and the the people of the spear in this deck are uh, people with red hair and fiery temperaments, right? <laughs> and that, you know, that corresponds to wands in tarot, the spear does. It's about that fiery temperament. It's about that uh, about that eagerness and restlessness and drive and sense of initiative, wanting to get started, not wanting to sit around, feeling easily bored if we don't get to take action, right? So the Spear Maiden would, would correspond to the Page of Wands. And, you know, I've, I've come to start looking at pages as sort of gatekeepers you know, to the rest of the the royal line <laughs> in each suit. In, in each suit, this is sort of like the 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 minimum level you have to reach to be uh, to be able to advance in that direction, right? Toward mastery of your of your element or mastery of the tool that you use. So the spear maiden is a is a youthful figure. They kind of uh, you know they can kind of tell you a lot about how to use that fiery. Um, capacity that you have, but they may also be pretty quick to use the, <laughs> you, they might be a little too quick to use the fiery tool, right? So um, the Spear Maiden is a person who is, uh, who is restless and anxious and probably a little bit easy to anger, but she has a very bright and inspiring spirit that, uh, you know, that um, I want to say that compels people to sort of follow her lead and uh, compels people to want her to succeed and do well. So, um, you know, this is through wit and this is through joy and this is through, you know, a very can-do sort of attitude. Like, you know, the spear maiden would be somebody who would say, you know, tell me what I can't do and watch me turn around and do it, right? <laughs> okay, so 
uh, that's the page of wands and uh, I want to I'm just going to take a look at the chart here and see what I see in terms of the page of wands here and naturally I'm drawn to Mars right now because Mars has taken a new kind of initiative Mars has just moved over into cancer and this is a you know this is a not the most comfortable fit for Mars and then Mars is also sitting here Quincunx to Pluto, asking for adjustment. We talked about all this the other day, like, uh, you know, adjusting our uh, our approach so that, you know, maybe being direct, maybe being, you know, quite so eager to move straight ahead and to, you know, get the work done is not going to work for us. Maybe we need to, um, you know, approach things in a little bit more a roundabout way. Maybe we need to feel our way a little bit more rather than just drive <laughs> forward, right? We need to, we need to think about the, the, um, the emotional and intuitive um, aspect of of the things that we're working on as well. And in this adjustment to Pluto, it's just saying, um, you know, it's it's really just saying if you can adjust the way you go about taking initiative at this time, then the then the things that are that you're going through transition on the things that are coming to an end or things that are starting to begin begin those things are going to go a little more smoothly for you. Okay, so just embrace the fact that you can't be so direct right now with your with your Mars um, assertiveness, your your power, your drive because that is a very pers that's a personal planet. It's a very personal part of who we are. Just uh, accept the part, the fact that we're not going to be able to go as direct as we'd like to at this time, okay? And then Mars is also in, um, you know, in a trine with Saturn. And this is, you know, the third of three. So think back to last summer and what you were doing when Mars went trine with Saturn for the first time. And they were direct at that time. And then they both uh, individually went uh, retrograde. And then they each individually went forward again. And now here we are at this third full strength trine between them. Only before they were in air signs and now they are in water signs. So our investments and responsibilities are our top priority at this time. If you're feeling very invested in um, the serious stuff, the responsibilities, the, uh, the the status, the structure, the support, right? Um, you're not alone and the efforts that you make right now are going to bear very positive fruit. So make sure you're working on the right thing, right? <laughs> make sure you have a positive attitude about it. And you're giving it your best as well. And then, um, you know, so that that's that's uh, that's Mars trying Saturn. And then in these water signs, it's also going to say, um, you know, we want you to feel good about the work that you did. You, you want to feel good about uh, what you are applying yourself to and um, and and what you're building with it, because it's going to stick with you for a long time. All right. So just keep that in mind. Um, good intentions. Right. Using our powers for good. It's important. And then. Uh, Mars is also square to the sun right now. Sun square Mars is a little bit of an agitation mode. Sun and Mars are usually pretty good together. So it's not like there's going to be much of a challenge between your ambition and and your drive. But um, if, if anything, the challenge is to get active. It's to get moving. It's to start solving problems uh, by taking actions. And then Mars is also sextile to the north node right now as is Saturn and their trine. So there's this minor triangle here, just uh, representing, you know, some ease of functioning, some blessings and and some cooperation by the trajectory, by, by our goal, some cooperate. It's like our goals are cooperating with us right now, okay? The, the place we're going is pulling us in at this time if we're just willing to make the effort and do the work. All right, so that is... Um, that's the spear maiden, Mars in, ca in Cancer right now. And when I put these two together, I see two of wands and the page of wands. So these are both beginning, beginning cards. The two is at the beginning of the whole wands saga, except for the ace. And then the spear maiden is like the, the most youthful and least powerful of the royal family in that same suit. So we're at a beginning, we're at a starting point here, um, and we may lack some experience, um, and we may or may not lack experience, right? We may be just getting started, we may have 
we have made we may have made a good start now, but neither of us are very <laughs> very experienced here, right? Uh, I see people looking in two different directions. So we're all kind of going our own way at this time. And that's going to be a, kind of the name of the game for a while because Pluto is going into Aquarius. We're all kind of, uh, you know, tr we're, we're all kind of coming, becoming a little non-conforming uh, with what is expected in society and culture. A lot of us are already non-conforming. I think a lot of, a lot, I think people are sort of breaking ourselves down into these segments and uh showing how we are non-conforming and there are maybe a few stragglers now that are like oh no conformity is so important right <laughs> we're hearing a lot about that in the news they're trying to pass laws that really affect the lives of people that don't conform right uh so there's a little bit of a struggle there there's a little bit of a power struggle uh between you know the people who are conforming and the people who are not either way everybody here is just getting started okay this whole um conversation is just getting started about uh, conformity versus non-conformity um and there's a lot of spirit there's a lot of drive and there's a lot of um inspiration and and impatience and restlessness about it right now so you know i'm going to say although it's a great time to be working on whatever it is that you are passionate about um i would like really honestly try to pour all of your attention on one thing at a time what you're very passionate about because otherwise if we get distracted we may find ourselves um, feeling a little extra agitated, <laughs> a little extra impatient, uh, irritable, and and then we can get reckless with our words and our actions. And we don't want to do that right now, okay? Okay. I think that's all I have to say about it. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate your presence here. I truly appreciate those of you who show up time and time again. Um, you know, you, you mean the world to me. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.